Before this video begins, I just wanted to say, I originally planned on the next episode of the New Horizons Space Race being uploaded today, however that got delayed due to various factors, and so it will only be uploaded uh, next week. Sorry about that, but hopefully you enjoy this video regardless. Hello and welcome to Orbiting Brick. And as you saw in that beginning message, a New Horizons Space Race has been delayed, I don't think there's any ideas for something to upload, so I didn't want to miss this Monday. So I decided to uh, use some random stuff from Blue Dog Design Bureau. I decided to uh, try out some of the Pioneer stuff. S specifically the Pioneer Outer Planets Orbiter concept. And, okay, so originally I was going to use the uh, Titan 3E, as you can see. However, my solar system, uh, New Horizons uh, system, has a different arrangement of planets, so Delta V requirements are higher. So I instead use the Titan 3, I believe it'd be the tri Titan 3 L4, which is, uh, it has expanded core and more solid rocket motors, meaning we can get uh, far more stuff to orbit, and we can also use a, a larger upper, uh, or just larger uh, Centaur stage instead of the Centaur D. This is the Centaur G, I believe. But you'll see that later. Yeah, this, uh, all this was uh, real concepts. There were multiple concepts for a wide-body uh, Titan. And I well, I wasn't going to find much information on them, but all this is uh, what can be built with the parts in Blue Dog Design Bureau. We still have the uh, trademark uh, Titan staging. We have the SRBs uh, burn until uh, they're almost uh, completed. And uh, then the center engine ignites. Yeah, very soon we should be coming on SRB Jason. There's ignition. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna get this out of the way right now. There was a uh, fatal flaw with my design that I completely messed I completely messed up during the build, which meant that uh, this was mainly for stack reasons. I had to use cheats. Yeah, you'll see that later. But it technically didn't affect the mission all that much. And it very much could have still been, still been completed without cheats. But uh, yeah, you'll see that later. I probably should explain. Uh, so we're going to Duna, but we have a outer planet's orbiter. And you saw a draw as well as Duna in the thumbnail. So well, again, I'm using the custom New Horizon solar system. Where Duna is actually a moon of draw. Which uh, you'll see the arrangement of a moons around draw pretty uh, soon now when I open the map view again. Yeah, you can also see the upgrade Centaur. And so, I, I launch a specific time. That means we actually don't need to uh, shut down the uh, second stage of the Titan. Because if we're going to be leaving orbit from Sona, we want to uh, maximize use of the Uber with effect. So we want to lower our paragraphs around Sona, so we should first escape Kerbin and get, get into a low orbit, and then escape Sona. And I launch a time where we can continue burning the second stage, and get an introductory with a loop where you have Sona. Hopefully that made sense. Anyways, yeah, Jewel, its system has been greatly altered. It now has means Dres, Duna, Ike. There's also uh, Leoch Leo and Nolas, I believe. I did not visit them since they're not properly configured with the, uh, properly configured with the visual mods right now. As you can uh, see, I have uh, already gotten the escape trajectory from Corbin, and I'm lowering my periaster and Sona. I then didn't realize that the Titan engines and Blue Dog Design Bureau have a just, just they continue producing thrust after being throttled down, which almost causes us to orbit. In fact, um, we went a bit low and actually dipped dipped into the atmosphere slightly. So yeah, you'll see that later. Yeah, we now leave Corbin. You also saw me up just. Gain up the information for a transfer to your jewel. Yeah, you can see the Pioneer probe deployed. We have some extended RTGs, as well as various other modifications, including an addition of uh, propellant tanks and a maneuvering engine since it's an orbiter. Yeah, um, we accidentally do some air breaking at Sona, which almost melts everything, but the craft survives.
and after that, we were able to uh, perform our maneuver to escape Suna. Not exactly periapsis, but as close as I could get, uh, well, just without time working too long and just having to do, like, having to wait for a different transfer window. So we escape soon now. And okay, so since we are using the Centaur stage, of course uh, there's going to be a fuel boil off. Which at some point I'll enable a cooling on to use tanks, which probably won't be that effective since we don't have the radiators to actually cool the tanks off. So we'll, be, we'll lose uh, most of the uh, fuel before conducting our uh, mid or well, our, for, our, our first mid course correction. We actually end up doing two. Yeah, first mid course correction. Not that long after we leave uh, Suna, just uh, 47 days into the mission. And now I just, uh, I uh, copied uh, the uh, staging uh, setup uh, from the uh, Real Life Pioneer Probes, which has very, just, it's not very really useful, a system that has very little dissimilarity uh, to the uh, solar system in real life. So yeah, we just have that SRP, which we'll actually hold on to it until we reach the jewel and use that to perform our orbital insertion burn. <coughs> Yeah, fairly soon we'll complete our uh, mid-course correction. There we go. And since Kerbalism just gets very angry when you want to a time warp with a craft that has any sort of electrical charge generation on it, I had to uh, switch uh, to the tracking station to time warp. We can then perform our uh, another. We can perform another mid-course correction using the RCS. It's only uh, seven meters per second of uh, delta V required, and we continue to uh, grow uh, farther in distance from the sun, and now approach Jewel. This is a uh, one year and over fourteen hundred days into mission. Again, this is a different solar system, so the length of a year is very different. Again, uh, soon is about as far away as Mars would be at this scale. Well, relative to the sun. Yeah, just a very long orbital period for her Suna. Which uh, means that, uh, yeah, here is uh, far longer than it should be. Yeah, alright, this is a multi-year long mission. And now we approach Shul. I'm not sure where I was, where I was really going with the tangent. By the way, somewhere around here, I encountered an issue where you'd start running out of electric charge. And I realized what this was. It was that Kerbin was obstructed uh, from our line of sight, but there was other relays available, so the antenna had to uh, use more energy to produce a stronger signal to connect with those weaker relays, as opposed to the uh, stronger uh, ground station's Kerbin, which uh, meant that uh, we didn't have the power generation, and would cause this to happen. So yeah, that, I kept getting spammed with that every so often. Anyways, we approach dual periapsis and our orbital insertion, or orbital insertion burn. We'll have us first use the SRV and then use the main maneuvering system after that. And so we are at dual periapsis, very close to the cloud layer. Not sure what's going on with the visuals right now. Now we can ignite the motor. And this will take a fairly long time to complete its burn. It will actually get us into a very eccentric orbit. And yeah, this is where the fatal flaw will come into play. Because you see the adapter between the spacecraft and the SRV. Well, it turns out. I horribly misunderstood how to use it, and so we run out of uh, propellant on the SRV. 
and I try to get a stage away. Problem. I fire the decoupler, and nothing happens. Because the decoupler, I horribly misunderstood how it's supposed to be connected, and I've instead made it, I've made it such that the SRB cannot be detached from the main probe. Now this means that we can't use our main engine, which is very bad. However, we actually do have RCS thrusters that can still fire, so theoretically we could continue our maneuvers without uh, the main engine. Send all of them to use more so we still have the Delta V. However, I decided to uh, use the treat menu to uh, remove that SRV since it looked bad, and again, we could theoretically still fly a mission without that main engine. This all would be easier and would take less time. However, the engine would still break anyways, because uh, EVA, EVA part failure, that's definitely not what it's called, but uh, this, yeah, part failure is whatever. Actually, is that what it's called? Just whatever the World Blue Industries. I am now completely blanking all this mod stuff. Basically, the part failure mod I have decided the engine should cease to work now. See, so, yeah, we're using the RCS anyway. So yeah, yeah, nothing was really gained by using the cheats there. So again, I still feel like this mission could be reasonably completed without using cheats. Well, as I completely skipped over all the other stuff we were doing, but we're doing some maneuvers to now reach Duna, and we can get a fairly, clo fairly close encounter. And I still have to be above the atmosphere, we can uh, fly fairly close to it. Now, I've never actually... Well, actually, okay. I haven't been to uh, Duna in the stock system with Parallax. I have been to Duna and Duna Ski with Parallax, but the terrain is completely different there. But I have been to... Well, basically, this is a version of Duna I haven't uh, seen myself... I haven't seen for myself before. This is actually my first time seeing uh, just what Parallax makes the stock Duna look like. But yeah, we can get some uh, nice uh, science data from up close, and then continue on our trajectory around the various moons. And we're now aiming for Ike, which, as uh, seen earlier, is also a moon of Jewel. And this is a fairly long maneuver, but it'll be completed fairly soon enough. And there you go, we're now, appro now approaching Ike. And Ike, as usual, doesn't really look that interesting, just another, uh, just various shades of grey. And uh, some uh, decently sized uh, boulders and uh, just other formations. I just keep her. I, I sometimes forget that uh, without parallax, the, uh, says the, the even from uh, space, uh, the uh, surfaces of bodies uh, look far worse. And also, we can uh, visit Drez. I can even completely cut out to the maneuvers here, since pretty much the same as uh, before. Yeah, you can see the one feature that's interesting on Drez, the canyon right at the bottom of the screen right now. And once that's gone, everything else is fairly standard uh, looking. I want to thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and goodbye!